Of the victims in yesterday's triple shooting in Marrero was 26 year old Norman Bell. JPSO says it's still investigating this incident that happened on Acre Road and Bacola Avenue as two other people are still recovering. WDSU reporter Ariel Brumfield live in Jefferson Parish as people who live and work in that area say they're very concerned. Ariel. Well, Travers, I talked to someone from a neighboring business. He tells me he wishes there was less crime and unwanted traffic in that area. It was frantic. It was it was it was hard pounding. Uh, it was it was fast paced. They they were just coming in, ducking, and I mean, I mean, no one should have to live like that. Bullets flying and no place to hide. Larry Collins says people ran for cover inside his restaurant, Wags Food and Culture, on Monday night. Later, went around the corner to investigate, and yeah, sure enough, there was some guy laying on the ground full of bullets. He says over the years, the intersection of Acre and Bucola has become a breeding ground for loitering and trouble lingering throughout the neighborhood. And a lot of it is, is really connected with uh, the convenience store on the corner. Uh, I don't believe they're able to combat uh, the, the area and give uh, the, the proper care that it needs. JPSO says when deputies responded to the shooting, they found a man suffering from a gunshot wound. Coroners confirmed 26-year-old Norman Bell was shot and killed. We're told the two other victims were found during the investigation and brought to West Jefferson Medical Center. It's really economic when you break it down. I mean, um, most most men take care of families, and a lot of these guys are out here breaking the law, uh, really to pay bills and and really take take care of young kids. Collins tells me more has to be done so that people who live and work in the community feel safe. Some kind of remedy needs to be needs to be thought about in, in a caring manner uh, that will get the guys off the corner for one, and and, and actually in, in the store. Stop allowing uh, all the loitering and all of the, the vacancy. And if you or anyone you know has information that can be helpful in this investigation, you're asked to call the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office. Reporting live in Harvey, I'm Ariel Brumfield, WDSC News. Ariel, thank you. Well.